Hi, Drew. First of all, best wishes for the new year. Hoping the best for you guys, Thank personally you. and professionally. Um, I know you follow soccer a lot, um, and there's been a lot of upsets around the world during this pandemic, especially in Spain, Barcelona <clears> losing <throat> games, Real Madrid losing games. Translating this to hockey in this new season and awkward season, you think the playing field will be a, a, a bit more even between favorite teams and non-favorite teams, per se? Uh, I definitely think it, it can be, yeah. Um, you know, uh, obviously the young guys are going to have a little bit of an advantage right off the start of the season. You know, it's easier for them to get ready, for them to, to jump on things. So, I mean, a lot of the teams that people think aren't some of the favorites are because they're young teams like ours. And uh, so I think those young teams, they can surprise people and they can definitely upset teams. I mean, it's still 56 games. It's not that short of a season, but uh, – no, I definitely think that there will be some surprises this year, and I hope we're one of the teams to surprise people. And just to follow up, um, during the pandemic, what was your favorite routine? How do you prepare yourself both mentally and physically? Um, so my routine was kind of um, get up early, uh, get up with the kids, then go to the gym for an hour and a half or so. And then after that, I would skate. And then after that, it was just back home, um, you know, once a week getting some massages and treatment done just to, to keep myself ready. Um, and then, yeah, training five days a week. And then the rest of the other time was spending time with family and friends. Uh, the rules were pretty strict back home in Canada, but a little less than, than they are here. And so we were still able to get together with some family and friends and, and have a little bit of fun over the pandem pandemic. Thank you. All right, next up is uh, Dennis Bernstein. Hey, Drew, we spoke with Todd last week, and he said it's been a couple of tough seasons for you. Guys have left a team that you've won with. Uh, you didn't have a steady defensive partner. This year, you'll probably be skating with Mata. He expects you to have a tremendous year. Is he right? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, I'm not making any excuse or anything, but when you're, mm -hmm. when you're playing with, you know, six, seven different partners, uh, it's hard to get things rolling. And I really think uh, – being with Oli, um, I think we can keep a partnership, not just for this season, but uh, the seasons to come. Uh, we, our games are very similar. Uh, we both think the game the same way. I've known him for a long time. I skated with him in London. He used to spend his off seasons in London in the summers. So I skated with him for a few, maybe three or four summers there. Know him really well, get along with him really well. And uh, I think we're going to be uh, something special together. Um, we look forward to um, – you know, growing our partnership and getting better and better every game and leading by example. And you mentioned possibly making the playoffs. So you ended the last season, even though it was a long time ago, a seven game winning streak. You hear about all the prospects coming through the pipeline. Are you happy with the direction the franchise is going in now? Um, yeah. Um, you know, you hear about all the prospects and stuff like that. So we hope everything's uh, right with that. Uh, the, the Blakey and uh, the rest of the staff has done a great job at, getting us, you know, first rounders, um, getting, uh, you know, guys in trades, getting some really good prospects. So now it's just about, uh, you know, the leadership group uh, leading the way, uh, teaching the young guys what it's like to be a pro and what it's like to be a king. And then hopefully those prospects pan out and uh, become big parts to our team uh, very, very soon. And I hope it's this year. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, thanks. All right, next up is Jack Harris. Drew, just as you approach this short camp, what are the things personally you're trying to get done? Is, or is it a bigger physical challenge, just kind of getting the timing down? Or is it, uh, you know, the focus more on trying to reacclimate into Todd's system, remember some of the things you guys were doing at the end of last year? Um, well, for me personally, Todd's system, I mean, the system is, is instilled in my brain. There, there, I have no questions about any of that. I, I, I know it exactly. Um, I think the hardest part uh, about getting ready is going to be the lack of exhibition games. Um, nothing, you can't do really anything in the summer, playing pickup, playing, uh, you know, doing drills and stuff. Nothing, nothing compares to a game. And I mean, we had a good scrimmage today. The pace was high and it was really good scrimmage, a couple, couple physical altercations, but it's still not the same as a real game. So that'll be the biggest hurdle to, to overcome, but uh, we had so much time off. Everyone on our team is more than prepared for this season. Uh, we worked hard on the ice, off the ice, uh, mentally. Um, we're, we're ready to go. So I think for me, just uh, getting very familiar with Olimata, I think that's my biggest focus uh, right now going into the season because I know I'm ready to go. And when you just look back at the last couple of years, I mean, how tough mentally was it to kind of go through 
seasons like that have the, the kind of roster turnover you guys did? And does it just kind of make you all the more excited to, to be at the place that the franchise seems to be now where you guys can start really trying to build back up again? Yeah, it's uh, it's super exciting. I mean, the last few years were were super tough. Um, never been through anything like that in my my entire life. So, uh, I mean, I'm saying it like it's the end of the world when it's not. But uh, it, it's it sucked uh, losing. Obviously, you take a lot of responsibility for that. Uh, you know, a lot of people have me written off as as not even a good player anymore. And so all that becomes personal, and all that drives me to be better this year to make our team better. And, uh, yeah, it's just exciting seeing these prospects. We, we, we watch them in practice, and we're in awe with some of the things they do. And um, that's what's so exciting is they're going to push us to be better, and we're going to continue to pull them with us uh, to make our team and organization uh, better again. Thanks, Drew. Yeah, thanks. All right. Uh, next up is uh, Lisa Dillman. Yeah, Drew, picking up on what Dennis was asking about Oli, what specifically about his game do you think will help you, and what do you think you can do specifically in terms of helping him come along? Um, I think he can come along uh, very easy. Um, he's, like I said, he's a smart player. He's a, he's a veteran in this league. He's, his attention to detail, he's going to have all the systems down pat by the end of this week, no problem. I think he probably already does have them. Um, <laughs> But it's just exciting because we play the same. Um, we're thinkers. We're not necessarily the, the fastest skaters. Uh, we're not, uh, yeah, so we, we're, we're thinkers. We're good positionally. We're good at moving the puck. We're good at uh, making plays to give each other more time. Um, I think I'm going to get a lot more pucks on the blue line this year from him because he's always looking over. Um, so that'll be amazing. But uh, coming out with possession in our own zone is going to be one of our specialties along with, uh, you know, shutting down other teams' best players. Um, we're both very solid defensively. We both take a lot of pride in defense, and uh, that's super exciting for, for both of us. And I know that I'm super excited to play with him, and I, I'm assuming he, he's, he's playing with me. Secondly, um, there's been a lot of hockey, a lot of miles on your body the last few years, and I guess you sort of have to look for positives where you can find them. But in a way, do you feel a lot fresher? Do you think this extra long break helped you, you know, maybe heal? Oh, definitely. Um, 100%. Um, I've, I mean, I'm not going to, I haven't gone down with any injuries or anything like that, but you're always playing with things and you know, things are always nagging at you. And now I finally had like however many months that was off. I, I my body is ready. I, I was able to actually lift weights like for real, like get heavy, get much stronger. Whereas in the past it was all maintenance stuff. And so like, yeah, it was a blessing in disguise uh, for me personally. And I think for our entire team, like we're all uh, healthy again, we're all like, more than ready to go for the season we all prepared so hard uh, on and off the ice and uh so yeah it was uh i i i took advantage of that time that, that's for sure thanks all right next up is andrew knoll yeah i do it great to see you man um you touched a little bit on this with uh, jack's question but um you know, obviously we've seen you frustrated the last couple of years knowing the type of competitor you are and you talked a little bit about kind of the external murmurs, um, you know, you going from being kind of a consensus top, you know, one, two, three D to having a little more varied opinion. What, you know, taking all that into account, what are your goals for this season for you personally? Uh, and then as a group as well. Um, personally, my goal is to um, help our entire decor, uh, help make everyone better, but uh definitely get my game back in order. Not that my game has gone as far as, as people think. Um, just been some, I think, unfortunate circumstances, but my goal is to, to be back in that top one, two, three D-man a year and recognizes that. I mean, that's not the whole thing. As long as I know I'm doing the right things to make us better and make myself better and working as hard as I possibly can, then, and then I know, and the coaching staff and uh, GMs are all happy with me, then that's that's all you can ask for. But I would like to, uh, increase on my points. I would like to, to obviously make a way better plus minus. There, there's all those little things, but sometimes you you can't control all those points and stuff like that. So I just gotta you know put my head down, work hard, improve in in all areas, and just keep working hard. So, um, yeah, those I guess would be my individual goals. And then as a team, uh, building off last year, I know a lot of people still don't think we're making the playoffs, but my goal for our team is still to make the playoffs. I'm 
I don't see why we can't. Uh, it's a short season. We're going to be able to surprise some teams. We're going to have a lot of energy. We've got a lot of young legs. Um, I know it's going to be extremely tough, but that, that's, I think, the goal we should set for ourselves right now. And with Ole, I mean, obviously one of the big things is that he's a veteran guy, obviously, you know, won two cups in Pittsburgh and has really been around the league. I mean, I, I know it's one thing as an older guy to work with the younger guys in practice and off ice and that kind of stuff, but do you think it will, um, you know, take some some burden off your shoulders having a veteran guy skating beside you, um, you know, as appears to be the plan now at least? Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I don't ever really feel anything on my shoulders. I, I don't get those feelings. I... Uh, you know, I'm just happy to play with whoever I'm going to play with. Uh, and I just try to make us better as a, as a pair and try to, you know, help them improve and, and learn things from them so I can improve. But this is definitely the first time since probably Rob Scuderi, which I don't know how many years ago that was, but it's the first time I've played with a veteran. I mean, I, I played with Muzz for a bit, but he was a rookie kind of coming in there, broke him in. Then I was with McNabb for a bit and then Forbert for a bit. And then last year I kind of played with, whoever. So I've always had rookie D-men. So to have a veteran uh, partner this year will, will be different, but uh, I think uh, it'll, it'll be beneficial for me for sure. Thanks, Drew. All right. Next up is uh, Zach Dooley. Hey, Drew. Um, after your pair, you know, you've got a lot of guys who are now in their second, third, fourth years in the league on, on the second and third lines. You know, what are you expecting from that group of guys, you know, to make some strides in the season? Um, well, we're just expecting them to get better in, in all, you know, phases of their game. Um, we, uh, I mean, we really have a lot of belief in them. We have a lot of trust in them. Um, you know, Walks is a guy that I really think can, can take off. Uh, he's got all the offensive tools that you need to be a really good offensive defenseman. So I really think that, he can take off this year uh, as for the other kind of three, four guys that are slated in there. They're all, all four of them are kind of the same, the very steady defensemen. They, they play hard defensively. They can chip in on the offense and um, you know, they're, they're rocks back there. So as long as they keep improving, keep learning, keep working hard, they're going to be like very good players for us uh, this year and in the future. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to help them as much as I can. If they, they know if they have any questions, anything they need help with, I'm always here. So um, we're all just trying to work together as a unit and we want to, you know, become one of the best, uh, seven man units in the league one day. So we're going to keep working towards that. Has there been any particular younger player that you've kind of taken under your wing at all, like a Mikey Anderson or Cal Clegg, or has it been more, more of a, an as a group thing? Um, I would say I, it's kind of tough with the, all these COVID things right now, to be honest. I mean, when Mikey got called up at the end of the season, I was talking to him a lot, um, you know, giving him any pointers. I really took uh, Bjornford under my wing last year to start the season. I uh, really enjoyed playing with him. Really looking forward to seeing what he can do when he gets back here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm de it's definitely my personality to take guys under my wing like that but as for like right now during this camp it's kind of uh, weird but I have relationships with all of them and even guys in the AHL and whatnot I have relationships with all of them so I'm always trying to help them as much as I can. Thank you. All right next up is Daryl Evans. Hi Drew welcome back I uh, hope you had some great time uh, with your downtime with your family. Um, where was the biggest area of growth that you saw with the team last year? Um, biggest area of growth. Um, well, I, I guess at the beginning of the season with uh, the new system and stuff like that, we were just like giving up goals like crazy. We were uh, giving up breakaways like crazy or we giving up two on ones like crazy where we they were scoring on most of them. And uh so I think that's where our biggest growth is. We became a good, uh, much better defensive team uh, as the season went on. We need to, again, it's always been like this in LA to, to score more goals. That'll be our one of our goals this season. But I was really impressed with how much better defensive we got as the season went on and how we could stay in close games. And even we beat some really good teams like Colorado at the end of the season last year. And I think that was due to committing to defense and committing to our system and playing it the right way. And I know that you like uh, you get involved in a lot of like one on one battles against top end players from the other teams, being that all the games this year are going to be division type of rivals. Are you excited to that? And uh, 
what matchups you look forward to most? Yeah, I'm super excited. I love, uh, I play better when I have an uh, emotional attachment to the game. And, you know, I get up and get ready for every game uh, the same way. But when you have a, you know, big threat across, across uh, looking across the ice at you, like a McKinnon or, um, you know, uh, who else is in our division this year? Like O'Reilly from St. Louis. Are they in our division? I don't even know. But, uh yeah, looking across at those guys, it makes you get up just a little more. It makes you play that much better. So I, I look forward to those opportunities. I look forward to those matchups. I, I want to win them so bad. And um, yeah, I would say McKinnon's the one I'm most looking forward to. I'm drawing blanks of who, who's even in our division right now, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I, I look forward to those matchups uh, probably more than most people do. All right. Good luck. Thanks. All right, and then uh, the last one is going to be from John Hoven. Hey, Drew, I don't want to dwell on a negative here, but I'm curious to just follow up on what you were talking about earlier. When you're saying that, you know, people say that your game has slipped, are you referring to media, teammates, opponents, coaches? Where, where, where is this coming from that, uh, that it's inside your head that, that people are saying these things about you? Uh, it's definitely media. Um, you know, I was in uh, Canada for a while there, and uh, when you, you're – put on TSN, which is like your guys ESPN, all they talk about is hockey. And I'm seeing, uh, you know, guys not having me lauded in to make the Olympic team uh, whenever that is in a couple of years. And so that, that just frustrated me. Um, and I mean, I see rankings that come out and stuff like that on my Twitter and stuff like that. So yeah, I would say it's all media. I definitely don't hear that from my peers ever. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's media. I think you can look it up if you want to see it. Uh, just the last question then, Drew. Uh, you talked about Oli Mata and how excited you are. And I'm just curious, were, were, did they discuss things with you in advance uh, of making that trade? Or did you sort of find out the way that everybody else did? Or what was your level of knowledge as that deal was coming down? Yeah, I had no idea. No, no clue. Um, yeah, that's it. No idea. Thanks, Drew.